So I'm gonna show you guys two things on our screen today. This is a chart of AMC and AMC just went through kind of a classic short squeeze, all right? And I'm gonna tell you how you can spot a short squeeze because it's actually not that hard. It is not that hard. So what I want you to notice is the bars are important, but underneath here, this blue area, this kind of shaded blue area, that's actually stock volume. And what I want you to notice is take a look at what's happening to the stock volume as the underlying, I'm going to make an a ellipse here, as the underlying is starting to rally and see an increase in volatility. You see an increase in, in movement with a huge increase in volume. That's your first sign that you have a short squeeze on your hand. Here's the other piece. And it's, again, really easy. Implied volatility is starting to go up. When you see implied volatility rallying, like it, it clearly is here in AMC, that is a sign of a short squeeze. So we got our first real blip of, hey, we could have something on our hands right here when vol started to rally. And, and what I want you to notice, and this is the fascinating part, implied volatility hit its peak on the 15th. And that was the very first day AMC started to, to pop. And then believe it or not, AMC rallied for several days. And you had an opportunity to buy, in relative terms, low implied volatility, all right? But here's the problem, volume declining, right? So it's kind of the market saying, hey, we're not so sure. But then here's your pot. All right, and, and this is kind of what we saw on Friday is AMC has a really nice day, vols rallying, volumes way up. And so in Little John, I put out a trade to buy the three and a half dollar calls. And I literally said to Alicia, I said, you know, Alicia, my, uh, my director of trading, I said, you know, this AMC is a piece of crud, um, but it's going higher and because the squeeze is on. And this is what happened. Now, there's one other piece that is causing these stocks to blow up, all right? So now I've walked through a short squeeze. I now wanna talk about a gamma squeeze. And a gamma squeeze is caused by short, dated options getting kind of near the money or at the money. So when I am a market maker, all right, I'm going to walk you through what, how, how I might trade something. So let's say it's, you know, you're, someone buys these January 29th, five calls for me. I sell a hundred of them. All right. And you can see it produces a pretty short, a nice, a nice short delta there, all right? Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna go a little further out of the money. We're gonna do the six calls. I'm gonna sell 100 of the six calls. Not in real life, these are fake. So I, I'd have 100 of the six calls and it gets me short 3,400 deltas. I buy 3,400 shares. I'm now flat delta. But look how much short gamma I have. And I wanna show you what happens to my delta on a risk chart, and I'm, we're just gonna do sims. And you can see, as we rally, I start getting short a lot of delta. So as we run higher, all right, my position forces me to buy more stock. And as me buying more stock actually adds to the squeeze on the underlying, which then caused the underlying to go up, causing me to need to buy more stock. Short squeezes work the same way. I'm short, I have a margin call, I have to cover, I buy some stock. Stock goes higher, I have more margin problems, I have to cover, all right? Gamma squeeze doesn't involve margin, but it involves my delta, right? I'm short gamma underlying rallies. I need to buy stock. So I buy stock, the underlying rallies more, 
I am short more deltas, I need to buy more stock. So what we saw over the last two, two three days in AMC, and notably, and certainly in GameStop, was the combination of a gamma squeeze and a short squeeze, all right? The short squeeze started on the 13th, kind of held in place for the week, and then started in earnest on Friday. Well, you could almost say on the 21st that it started, but it really pushed higher on Friday and then into Monday and Tuesday. You, could, you might argue that we're starting to see the short squeeze come off because volatility is no longer rallying and the stock's not really jumping. All right. Now, do we have some gamma squeeze potential? I mean, implied volatility is off the chains. Yeah, we, we do. Um, where is there some huge open interest? Where you could see a gamma squeeze is on this 115 strike. So if GameStop gets ahead of steam and at the 100 strike and at the 115 strike, you have a real opportunity for a gamma squeeze. And I mean, the implied volatility on, in, in GameStop is absolutely off the chains. Um, you know, the 90s are $18, those are at the money. The 120s that are $32 on, out of the money are only 10 bucks. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to be adding to Little John, and which is going to be renamed Robinhood Trader, uh, for our annual subscribers, is a weekly chat on how to take these these Robinhood Trader Little John ideas and turn them into a more complex trade that has a ton of edge based on what Robinhood traders are causing the, these dislocations that Robinhood traders cause. Right, Robinhood Trader is a momentum trade add momentum and to dislocation, and I can create spreads with a ton of opportunity. And that's what I'm be adding to that annual subscription for people that are in Robinhood traders. So anyway, there you have it. Um, we're gonna talk more about that tomorrow at my event. Uh, can't wait to, uh, to be with you guys, but that, that's just my, uh, you know, I wanted to explain to you what's happening between a short squeeze and a gamma squeeze. Have a, uh, a wonderful day. Feel free to email me if you've got questions, marketoption.com, or you can dial our toll-free number 888-TRADE-01, and we'll be happy to, uh, to discuss things with you.